I know. I know. Some of you only watch the Cole Memo for drug policy news, and that's okay. I've got good news for you today. I have been releasing more drug policy content and will continue to. Some of you have reached out and you're like, I'm just not interested in this legal sex series. That's okay. I find it fascinating. And if you just now heard about it for the first time, you can go to thecolememo.com slash sex to see the episodes that we've released to date. But if you'd rather not see that and you'd rather see my coverage on drug policy, again, I have good news for you. We are continuing our coverage of drug policy right now exclusively on Patreon until the legal sex series has finalized. So if you want coverage on drug policy, go to thecolememo.com slash Patreon. I just recently released a new episode on the history of cannabis in Illinois. It is one of the most comprehensive looks at the history of cannabis in Illinois. Speaking of the history of cannabis in Illinois, I spoke to a figure a figure who's been involved in the history of cannabis in Illinois, Charlie Bactel, who you might know as the founder and CEO of Cresco Labs. I also recently sat down with a company that broke Coca-Cola's monopoly on the coca leaf. In case you didn't know, coca, Coca-Cola is called Coca-Cola because they use the coca leaf for flavoring. And from what I understand, companies like Pepsi and, and other companies have been fighting uh, tooth and nail for access to the coca leaf. And nobody has been able to get access to the coca leaf legally until now. I just spoke to somebody who broke Coca-Cola's monopoly on the coca leaf, and you can listen to all of the episodes that I've mentioned right now at thecolememo.com slash Patreon. If you're not enjoying the series on, um, or, or my series on the legal sex industry in Nevada, that would be your way to get our content as it releases. Um, but that content will not be released until this series on the legal sex industry concludes. Thank you all. Take care.